Solana is on an absolute tear today, so I thought I'd go through and record this short to the point video that I've been wanting to do for a little while since they released the new platform for Soulflare, the non-custodial staking and wallet service for the Solana ecosystem. You can use other different sorts of wallets or apps out there, but Soulflare is the one that has been built originally for Solana and SolanaBeach.io, so that's what I use. That's what I think is the easiest, makes it easy for staking, but they've made some massive changes and a complete overhaul to their entire website. So here we go, we're gonna go through it, boys and girls. It's gonna be all meat and potatoes here today, so stick with me. Before we get to that though, welcome back everyone. If you're new to the channel, the goal here is financial freedom earlier in life through stocks, cryptos, everything and anything to get us there faster and earlier in life. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. Here we go, let's get into it. Meat and potatoes, I guarantee it all the way through this whole video. So first we're gonna get to how to get to Soulflare, how to use the legacy version of the site, if you prefer that version, how to log in, how to check your balance, how to stake, and how to check your staking rewards. We're gonna go through all that right here, right now. Let's get into it. All right, so real quick cut in here. Before we get into anything, you need to go onto your ledger if you're using that on the Soulflare platform. You don't have to use ledger. You can create a mnemonic phrase and just use that method to get into Soulflare and have a sort of private key set up that way. But if you're using a ledger service, you need to go through and you want to go on your ledger, go to the Solana app, go to settings, go to enable blind signing and enable it to yes. And you just need to do that. It works and makes the Solana and Soulflare work much more easier in the background. So you just need to get that out of the way uh, and let's get into it now to Soulflare. All right, so here we go. We've got soulflare.com and it is very simple to use. It is almost, it's a little more difficult to use now, this new version versus the legacy version, but they've worked out a lot, a lot of the bugs from the legacy version into this version itself. So I kind of like it, but let's go through it here right now for your own eyes only. So I've got my ledger hooked up to my computer. It is on the Solana app itself and it's just sitting there ready to go. Now, all you got to do is you come on the Soulflare website, you click access wallet, you're going to load through and you can choose either to create a mnemonic phrase, a ledger or a key store file. And you just go ahead. If you're using a ledger, like I am connect your ledger and you hit continue. And then you got to come up here since I'm on Chrome and I connect it. And now you can go through in the derivable accounts. You can choose any of these, but usually I stick to the recommended version in the drop down. And now here's one problem that I've seen with Soul, Soulflare, their new platform, is that the, the money or the amount of soul you have, this is just an example uh, ledger that I'm using for teaching purposes, so it doesn't have very much, it doesn't have all my soul in it, but you can see that it says there's only 0.248 soul in this top address here. But the thing is, that's not actually accurate. So I'm actually using the second address down and this is where you'll actually see the soul for my educational purposes is stored, even though it says zero. So you have to realize that when you're going through it and you get into your main access platform right here when you've clicked through all those buttons. So how much money you have in dollars or whatever denomination that you use for me, it's dollars. And then it shows you your address and you can send, receive, and then you can also stick Solana and it'll show you down here your account. So on the Soulflare platform, you can actually have other types of accounts. So you can have like USDC, you can have different sorts of the different types of Solana tokens on here. And so you can actually have and hold many different things. You can also swap in the Soulflare platform itself up top. You can say, I wanna swap for USDC, hit swap, and then it'll be held on your Soulflare platform itself. You can also store NFTs on here and you can look at your staking, but you hate this site. So you can come up here and you can go to legacy app in the settings menu right here. And it will take you to the original legacy uh, menu and platform that Soulflur has. And essentially, if you just want to get to that without logging in initially, you can go to legacy.soulflare.com and that will bring you to the legacy platform right there without even having to log in. You just log into your normal legacy app. And it's just going to look like exactly like the other videos I've shown in the past on Soulflare itself. How to actually check your balance. So the balance is right there, but you can also click on here, extend it down and look at the particular wallet service that you have on your platform. That's pretty simple. It shows you right there. Not much to it, but this is what some people might want to know and might want to check out is how to actually stake on Soulflare. So you just click the stake button. 
Now you can see that I have a wallet currently deactivating, but let's say you want to stake some more or you just transferred more into your Soulflare platform. So you go and you click create account. Once you've created the account, you select how much soul you want to actually stake. I'm just going to say, there we go, 0 0.04. It can be, you can't stake all your soul. You have to re realize that because there is a transferring fee that happens. It's like 0 0.00001 or like fractions of a penny to actually transfer it. So you can't say if you have 100 soul, you can't transfer all 100 soul to stake. You need to do like 99.999 soul and leave a tiny bit in that original address that you transfer into but now you can select your validator but what validator do you actually want to use that's a good question so to actually figure that out you want to go to solanabeach.io and then go to the validator tab at the top and then go through the validator list here now it's the exact same deal when you're looking at validators and you're trying to figure out what, who you want to actually stake with but we'll go through really quick the key points let's click on it we'll see that this is Bison Trails, check out their website. You wanna see what kind of commission they charge. Next, you look at the slot success rate. But what you wanna know is the higher the slot success rate, the better, and more often you will make your targeted rewards rate. So that's what you're gonna be aiming for. Next, you can see the stake percent. This is 2.54% of all soul currently being staked so if there is a hundred thousand soul being staked that means 2.54 percent is being staked through this particular validator it's very simple and other than that you can just go and check out all this stuff for yourself and have some fun with it but that's how you can kind of search it up all right so for today's example we're just going to say let's stake the bison trails let's say we did our research and this is the one we want to stake to and essentially you just come in here you make sure you got your mount right you can then you go in you just type in bison trails you click on it and you're good to go yeah and then you hit stake and now you just need to confirm the action on your ledger so you go through and you click through and approve and it gets it done now sometimes it has a little lag here and it kind of hangs up but if it sits for more than like a minute you can just exit out and then check back on the soulflare page if it's actually completed so we're going to give it a few seconds and then we'll see where it goes all right, so you can kind of see here that it says an error happened and that's not a big deal. So we're going to actually go check to see if it actually did stake or not. And I mean, there's still bugs in the systems. So there's still, it's still a pretty much brand new platform that they've rebuilt from the ground up. So let's check if it actually happened. So you just come through and you click portfolio and then you come back and you click staking and voila, it actually did go through, even though it did pop up that error message. So just go back and forth between tabs and check it out to see if it actually happened. Now you can see right here, it's currently activating. So it's not currently, I'm not currently winning awards or getting my staking rewards yet because it hasn't reached the epoch yet. So once this goes from activating to staked or whatever it calls it, I don't remember, you will be able to start earning rewards. To actually check your staking rewards, it's very simple. You just click on the wallet that you've currently have staked and then it will populate each epoch and how much you're getting in earnings and it just goes through and it shows you exactly how much you're making what date what the apr was what the commission was very very simple and i mean what i prefer though and this is probably the easier way because you don't have to be using soul flare to be able to check your staking rewards with this method we'll check it out right now so essentially what you want to do is you want to copy your address your staking wallet address so you want to copy that and then you want to come to solanabeach.io you want to come to the dashboard you want to put it in the search box right here search it and then you scroll down to the bottom and you can click stake rewards all right so it loaded for a second or two and then you can see right here it shows you on solanabeach.io your staking rewards but what i really like about this method is because you don't have to be on soulflare you don't have to break out your ledger to log in and do all that stuff is that you can simply just come do this method search the wallet that you have staked and then just favorite it Edit, add it to your uh, bookmarks and you can simply then open your bookmarks because you can see right here at the top it has the address here so you don't even need to remember the address this isn't a private key or a public key this is simply a staking wallet address and it doesn't matter if people see what it is or if someone gets into your hacks your computer they're not able to steal any of your stuff through this link or this wallet address it's so don't worry if you save it on your desktop or anything like that the wallet address so 
not a big deal. And you can simply just click in, come in and check your rewards that way. Very simple, very fast. And I prefer this method for checking my staking rewards versus Soulflare itself. But Soulflare is how you actually get staking going and start earning them sweet sweet rewards okay so the last thing i want to show you is how to like actually log out and get out of it and when you go through this process you're like oh shit what is it going to delete all my wallets am i going to lose all my solana no so you simply click on this little icon at the top right and you come down and you say remove data and log out so when you do this it's going to prompt you with this action will delete all your accounts from Soulflare. and essentially what this is doing is it's just removing it from like your your cache or your memory from the web browser and it essentially makes you have to log into Soulflare with your ledger every time you want to do this i like to just log out every time i don't like people being able to just open soulflare.com if they get into my computer and see all of my stuff so this is why i go through and i set delete and it logs you out completely now i would have to go in and i have to go through the whole access again if I wanted to get back in, but don't worry, even though you, if you don't choose to do what I just did and click delete, everything that happens on Soulflare needs to be confirmed through your ledger, your key store file, or your mnemonic phrase and password. So even if someone does access your computer and goes to the Soulflare website and sees your staking amount or your Soulflare money, they can't send it, they can't do anything like that, they can't stake, they can't unstake, they can't touch anything because you need to confirm it with your ledger or your other methods that you use to access Soulflare to begin with because that is how your private key is commanding and allowing all these things to happen. So don't worry. And that is Soulflare, the new platform. Check it out for yourself if you're really interested. Now let's bring it back to me. That's all, folks. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to not miss out on any future videos on Solana, on cryptos, on stocks, on financial freedom, all of that. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. I really appreciate it. Share this video, too, with all your friends, your family, and your buddies. And guys and gals, let's go make some money. I'll see you out there.